applications of plane mural. The first one is anti parallax mural. Okay, now uh, in the amp meter, wood meters, galvanometers, okay, sometimes uh, you can see that there is a mural here. Okay, this is a scale, it's a scale, and there's a mural here. So the mirror under the pointers of a meter is called the anti parallax mirror. So this one is called the anti parallax mirror. Okay, the functions of this mirror is to prevent parallax error when taking the readings. If your eye is on top of the this is a pointer. If your eye is on top of the pointer, so then you will find that the pointer will cover the image. Then you can't see the image. If you don't see the image, then there's no parallax error. Okay, so what you read is accurate. There's no parallax error, okay? But if your eye is not at right angles on top of the pointer, then you will see, like in this case, okay? In this case, uh, when you see, it's, hey, the reading is uh, uh, this six, okay? Six, 6.2, 6.4, 6.6. Okay, this is 6.6 .6 ampere. But then you see, there is a, this image of the pointer here, okay? So this 6.6 .6 is not accurate. There's parallax error, okay? So you must move your eye so that your eye is on top of this pointer. The pointer block the image, uh, cover the image, block the image, and then there's no parallax error. Okay. So this is the applications of plane mirrors to prevent parallax error. And this mirror is called anti-parallax mirror. Ambulance, eh? ambulance, okay. From the front of the ambulance, okay. Normally you can see the you can see the words ambulance. But then uh, you will find that this, this word ambulance is literally inverted. It's literally inverted. Uh, you see, this one, the A is on the left hand side. Now the A becomes the right hand side, okay? The E is on the right hand side, but then now the E becomes on the left hand side. So why, okay? Why is, uh, is place literally inverted? Because, because when you are driving, okay? And you see from the real view mirrors, Okay, then your real mirror will uh, show the laterally inverted image. Okay, so when the mirrors okay reflected this image, huh? okay, this image will be laterally inverted. Then the left become the right, and the right become the left. Ah, then you can see, then you can see this ambulance, these words properly. So that is for the drivers, huh? the drivers to see the words properly so that so that they know this is ambulance car yeah, either it's a police car or ambulance or what okay uh, in this case uh, we apply our knowledge knowledge of uh, reflections uh, the characteristics of the image formed by the reflections of plane mirrors uh, on an uh, ambulance this is not plane mirror this is periscope uh, okay this is so usually periscope is, is used in submarine uh, uh, so it's used in submarines to view objects above the surface of the sea. Yeah? This is a periscope. There are two mirrors, uh, two plane mirror use so that the light hit the mirror. This is nice, 45 degree. Yeah? Okay. So the mirror is, is placed 45 degrees so that after the reflection, this light go down at right angles, a uh, 90 degree. Uh, and then so we go to the eye. Now, take note stats, okay? This one, okay, this one is like A yeah, on top. And I go down here, it go down here, it's still on top. This is like B, it go here, it go here, then it's still B, okay. So it means that uh, the image form is upright, yeah? okay. A, ab A above B, A above B. So the image form is uh, upright. So this is also another application of plane mirror. Uh, optical testing, yeah? okay, if the room is too small, and we don't have enough distance uh, for the optical testing, then we can use a mirror. Okay, we can use a mirror and we put the eye chart at the back and then put a mirror here. Then you will find that the distance, uh, the distance of the eye chart from the observer can be increased. Okay. For example, so from here, from the eye chart to the mirror is 10 meter. And uh, the observer is standing Let's say uh, 17, uh, 7 meter, this is the observer, okay? 3 meter from the eye chart, uh, 7 meter, 7 meter from the mirror. Uh, in this case, uh, in this case, so what's the distance of the observer from the image of the eye chart? If the observer is 7 meter from the mirror, the eye chart is 10 meter from the mirror. 
what is the distance of the observer from the image of the eye chart. So when this observer, he see the eye chart, the eye chart is how many meter from him. Eh? The image of the eye chart eh, is not this, okay? It's not the, it's not the eye chart. Eye chart is three meter, okay? The image of the eye chart is, yes, 17 meter. That's right, okay? Because it's seven meter from the mirror, okay? And the eye chart is 10 meter, okay? So there's another 10 meter, okay? 10 meter. The eye chart, the image of the eye chart is 10 meter from the mirror. So totally, seven plus 10, 17 meter. So you can see, now, he is 17 meter from the eye chart, but the room is just 10 meter long. Eh? The room is just 10 meter long, but because by applying, by, by using image, eh, so the distance of the eye chart is 17 meter from the observer. Okay, so that is uh, applications of plane mirror in optical testing. Okay, if the room is too small, eh, okay, then you can use a mirror. Eh? You can use a mirror to increase the distance of the eye chart from the observer side or real view mirrors of a car i think this one you know right okay so uh, side mirrors we use plain plain mirrors and the real view mirrors we use plain mirror okay uh but in exam they may ask you what what are the advantages of using plain mirror what are the advantages of using plain mirror first because plain mirrors the distance of the object is a, is equal to the distance of the image yeah? so then the driver can estimate the distance of the object correctly okay so when you see the the mirrors, okay, then you can then you can uh, estimate, uh, okay, the car is how far from you, okay, because the distance of object, same as the distance of image, uh, okay, uh, but if you use convex or concave mirrors, then you can't estimate, uh, because concave, conca concave mirrors, uh, the distance is not the same, so it's very hard for you to estimate uh, where is the car, uh, but for if you use plane mirror, then you can uh, easily estimate the distance of the object from you, and seconds, uh, because for uh, plain mirrors, the image is upright, okay? So what you see from the car here is, uh, is upright, it's not inverted, okay? If you use a concave mirror, you may get inverted uh, image, okay? So that's why we don't use uh, concave mirrors uh, as a, this is a side view mirror. Sometimes uh, we have a con convex mirror. We put a small convex mirror here small convex mirror here, but uh, we do not put concave mirror. Eh? Okay, so that is uh, side or real view mirrors of a car. This is side view mirror. This is real. This one is real view mirror. Okay, so this is summary. Anti-parax error, ambulance, periscope, vision testings, okay. Mirror, side view mirrors or uh, real view mirror. Sometimes uh, you can see that there's a uh, convex mirrors here. Uh, let me show you the picture. Okay. Uh, usually this this one is a plain mirror okay then you can see that uh, there is a, a convex mirror here okay yeah sometimes they just uh, buy one and stick stick here okay now uh, we use convex mirror is because it's it has wider view okay it has wider view eh? so you can see more object you can see more object for example eh? for example if this is the uh, this is a driver okay and uh, this is a car okay this is a car this is the view of the car, okay? And uh, this is a side view mirror, okay? So let's say if you use a plane mirror, then that's what you can see, okay? What you can see. But if you use uh, this a convex mirror, you have a wider view. You can see more things. Eh? It has a wider view, okay? Let's say if, uh, if you use plane mirror, if there's a bicycle here, you can't see, yeah? But if you use uh, convex mirrors, okay? Then you can see uh, the bicycle here, okay? So that is the reason why we use uh, convex mirrors at the side view mirror. So we have anti parax mirrors, periscope, ambulance, eye chart. Okay, telescope. There are two types of telescope. Eh? Okay, two types of telescope. Uh, one of it. Okay, one of it is they use uh they, they use two lane two lenses. Okay, eye lens, eyepiece, and objective lens. There's another types of telescope. We, we, we call it the reflective or reflections telescope eh? reflective telescope or reflections telescope they only use one lens with another uh, concave mirror okay okay concave mirror but other than the concave mirror you can see that we have a plane mirror here plane mirror here so concave mirrors is used to converge the light ray okay to focus the light ray but then we have a plane mirror we have a plane mirror here to reflect the light ray 
So for telescope, uh, okay, we use concave mirrors and plane mirror, okay, inside this telescope. Okay, so this is also one of the uh, applications of plane mirror.